John Laval here on Men and Women Are Not the Same, and uh, I'll explain why. Um, first of all, uh, this might get a little rough around the corners, uh, I'll do my best to get through this thing. Uh, men and women are not the same. I have a friend of mine uh, who is, by the way, a female, and uh, he's about my age, and uh, no, she'd be a little bit younger than me. Anyway, she, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's like uncommonly gorgeous. And her husband's cheating on her. And the uh, first mistake a woman makes, or a man, I'm not categorizing anybody, this, this holds true to both sides. Uh, first mistake a woman makes when she's trying to analyze a guy is she goes to her girlfriends, like they know. They don't know any more than she does. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'll just start off by telling you why we're different. Uh, we're genetically different. The genes are different. Uh, half of being a female is in the genes. You're actually born female. Like not, I'm not talking about the physical. The mental, the brain is already set up to recognize itself as a female. The second uh, part is the, the physical part. A woman is physically a female. And then she's environmentally a female. In other words, she was raised as a female. Uh, now, uh, females will take to dolls. That's that first part where she's born a female. It's a genetic uh, trait that uh, runs through uh, the bloodline of females. Uh, now, males will adapt to trucks. Now, this is not every single male and every single female, it's just the majority of it, there's always uh, a discrepancy in everything, and, uh, but the majority of guys are interested in, uh, you know, sports and violence, and, you, and if you got kids, you'll see the difference right off the top, their interests are different, and uh, the way they deal with the world is different, okay, so the worst thing she can do is, uh, talk to another female who knows more, no more than she does because it's not given to you. And the reason why that is, is it's, it's like what they call them, like the mystique. I don't want to be with a girl that I understand. That's poison, I mean, there's no attraction there. If she's like a guy and she thinks like a guy and everything's like a guy, I'm not interested. I want something that I don't understand. That's what I want, and that's what a female wants, is something she doesn't understand. When I'm with a woman, uh, she's physically different than me. Her mental state is different than my emotional state is different than me. Uh, the way she uh, perceives the world is different than me. She's a mystery, and I'm drawn to this. It's, it's hard to explain it, and it's the same thing that draws a female to a male is... Uh, He's so different, even though we're both human beings, we're just completely different. And uh, it's quite uh, refreshing. Uh, like if I'm like with a guy fishing or something, I don't have to ask him any questions about anything. I already know the way he thinks about everything. But if I get with a woman, uh, I'm going, what are you talking about? I never saw it that way. And uh, so she has a lot to uh, a lot to offer me, and I can show her a lot of stuff the way I perceive it. So we have that. So it's not given to you, and it shouldn't be given to you because we'd have no population. People would lose interest in each other because it's just that is the attraction. It's physical too. Um, for males, it is. I don't know if it's for females, but for males, it's physical. And uh, but anyways, we're completely different. So she, so she came to me and she says, well, why is he cheating on you? I said, well, the very first thing you have to know is he's not cheating on you because he loves this girl. She goes, oh, you've got to love her. I said, no, no, you, you're on the wrong side of the fence again. You don't understand the male mind. If he loved her, he'd have dumped you. If he's with you, he doesn't love her. That's a fact. Well, why would he go there? I said, there's two reasons why he's going to go. Uh, the number one reason he's going to go to her is uh, males have a physical need. I don't. Women do too, but it's not as intense as it is for a male because he has testosterone and he's torn apart all the time. He goes 24 hours a day. He never gets any rest. <laughs> he 
it's nice to have though but uh, it can be a problem and uh, so the reason why he's, he's drifting is because you're not coming across enough for him and he has a certain amount of, each guy has a certain amount of needs and if you're not getting it he's going to spread himself out not every guy I know wouldn't cheat on my wife because of that uh, not unless I just said okay enough is enough I'm going end this marriage but uh, other than that I'm a moralist which is a, that's a part I hate anyway so that's the first reason why he would leave and, and women need to know that there's no guy on the planet that loves the woman that he's cheating uh, the woman he's with <laughs> how do I say this okay he loves the woman that he's he has but the woman he's with now he doesn't love her if he does, uh, he's dumping the, uh, he'll dump the first woman because he's actually found somebody he loves. We don't deal too much of love anyways. Uh, the second thing is, uh, is now she, this, I said this girl is absolutely gorgeous. The problem with her is she dresses like a guy. And I said, uh, that would bother me. I said, I mean, you can wear whatever clothes you want, but uh, she's dressed, you know, lumberjack shirts and uh, jeans. It, uh, it's feminine but not too much uh, so uh, I told you it's mystique and difference it's attraction okay she's wearing the same clothes I'm wearing so I'm already losing the attraction I said uh, you could think about throwing uh, well, I don't know a corset on and uh, some nylons and get sparkly throw some makeup on do your hair and he's liable to not drift away because he's going to be like a kid on Christmas morning. I mean, he's hit the mother load here. He can't get happier. So that's your second problem. I said, don't ever think that guys are the same. I'll give you an example. A guy goes to the mall. He's going to buy something. He goes to the mall as fast as he can. He goes into the mall, into the store, grabs the thing he's going to buy, gets to the cash, pays for it, gets back in his car and gets home. And he watches his watch to see how fast he can do this. And most guys are like that. A woman will go to the mall. She'll call her girlfriend and say, you want to go to the mall? Which she'll say, sure. And uh, they have no intention of buying anything. But by the time they get out of the store, which they spend the whole day there, guy won't spend two minutes there. Uh, she's got so much stuff that uh, the, the vehicle's a complete blind spot now because it's just packed to the ceiling. You can't even see out of the car. Uh, that's the way women shop. Uh, do I understand that? No, I don't. Do women understand why the guy won't go shopping? No, they don't. And I, here's advice to women. I seem to be helping the women, women out here. I don't think me are going to just say, if you want to go to the mall, don't ask your husband to go. You're just torturing the poor bugger. Go call a girlfriend and go with her. You'll be much happier because he's just going to nag you to death about how to get out. I do that to my wife. And I said to her, anytime you want to go to the mall, just call your friends and don't bother me with it because I don't want to go. And uh, so that's that uh, mind you men and women love to eat out uh, that's something we like to do uh, probably won't order the same plate see two if you get a bunch of guys who go to all, they'll order all the same stuff and it's very possible I don't know if women go to a restaurant they'll order all the same stuff but if you take a man and a woman a lot of times they won't unless it's a fast food place where they're only selling burgers anyways but uh, if there's any uh, choice it's different and um, there's a saying that um, women trade sex for love and men trade love for sex so a man will give the woman what she wants this love stuff I don't know what that is but and a woman will offer herself sexually to get it now they say that men are more sexual than women. Uh, apparently not. Uh, women are just as sexual. It's just that uh, they're uh, they're slower to respond. Is all. Now they have desires too. 
and fantasies and stuff, but they're slower to respond. A guy can have a sex and write a drop of a hat. And I'll tell you another thing about the difference between men and women. It comes into the emotional package. Is, uh, myself, if I was in the middle of an argument with my wife or my girlfriend or whatever I was, whoever I was with, and she said, do you want to have sex? I say, sure. And it doesn't matter how hot the argument was. What do I care? I'm getting sex. But if you said to a woman in the middle of an argument, you want to have sex, you just created a new argument. That's the difference because the mind is not the same. And uh, the, the modern uh, psychology is trying to tell us we're all in the same boat. And they're, they're making a real mess out of everybody's lives. That's why everybody's uh, confused and is not working because they're in the wrong program. They're trying to make something fit. So these idiots can write books and stuff and be the, uh, the revelation of modernism. And they're not. They're just they're trying to force people into uh, their ideologies. It doesn't work. Uh, if a man is going to enjoy a woman, it's because she's, she's feminine. And if a woman is going to enjoy a man, it's because he's masculine. And that means that they're both different, plain and simple. If I grew breasts and the doctor said to me, I can take those off for you, I'd say, please do, and do it as quickly as possible because I don't want them. But you say to a woman, uh, oh, I could take your breasts off, you're taking away her life, you're taking her identity away, everything you would, you can um, mentally disturb her from, uh, because of it, you won't mentally disturb me, but if you said to me, uh, well, I could cut your dink off and uh, stuff, I'd be a basket case, but if you said that to a woman uh, who for some reason grew a dink and nuts, she'd say, get them off of me, I don't want them. See, there's a difference. We are different. We have an identity, and we want to keep that, and we want to make sure that the, both identities are different, and that's what makes us love each other.